Alright guys, welcome back to another recap, another green day, keeping the green circuit alive, keeping all the green days this year, so no red days. Um, trade at Tesla to the long side, I think it was the only uh, ticker that I traded long, I did take one short today. Uh, the short, I kind of piked it, I guess that's the term everybody does, so I could have made a lot more and got out too early, but still a heck of a trade. The profit on it is better uh, because I did end up taking a bigger share size, so I'll go over that short as well. But everybody that's new to my recaps, if you guys like this video, if you guys enjoy it, hit the thumbs up for me. Um, if you guys want to watch me trade live, I do these every single day, and you guys can watch me trade live for free. All you got to do is hit that notification bell, and you'll notified when I go live as well. Um, as far as p and I'm up $730. I did make $740, and then I started going into some other things, uh, experimenting with options, and I lost like 14 bucks. So I'm really up $726 on the day. So let me pull that up for you guys here so you guys can see. 726 and those two right there, I lost 14 bucks messing with options. So you can see the, the volume is four because I bought four contracts. Um, other than that, guys, still a great day. Way to start the week. You know, it just seems like a usual thing now that we don't trade Mondays. We come in for Tuesdays. But either way, got it done. Um, as well as watching me trade live, guys. If you're just now finding my channel and you guys want to study, see how my trades, executions are live. Um, I do post every single recap. Uh back into youtube so every single recap and every single live trade session that i had this morning goes into youtube for you guys so you guys can see it and so you guys can watch me back and trade it and i do that too so i did it today because i think today i was all over the place big p l swings up down uh deep red then green back to green then deep red again back to green again and finally got a nice trade at the end uh, to put me up then I took a smaller scalp uh, and then closing it up $750 on the day but anyways let me go over the, these trades here um, and the reason why I'm telling you guys to go back and watch these is because yeah I, I did swing a lot of p &L today usually I try to find the clean trade and go long and go short on that trade itself but today it did seem like I was like up oh, going short never mind that's not going short I'm going long never mind that's not going long I'm going short but ultimately I'm still keeping the daily on check in check so I knew Tesla could run I actually called it out this morning that I I thought Tesla could have a nice day today um, and so initially I was long uh, on the stock I was bullish but my first trade was here so let me start talking about him as I show you the trades so there's all the trades you guys can see I've not been trading for the last couple hours but I did trade this open here so let me go ahead and remove them you guys can see them right there so my first trade on the day I ended up looking at this 125.95 level basically 126 level uh, kind of high off pre-market there uh, kind of was close to a daily level so when Tesla opened bullish, I was like, yep, this is this is what I thought Tesla could get a run today. But then it started tucking under that 125 to 126 level. And here I was like, you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe SPY was at a daily level where it could turn back around. NVIDIA has been running for a while. Tesla, you know, has a couple green days on the daily. So I was like, you know what? Maybe we're not. Maybe we're just going to tuck back in here and go down a little bit more. Maybe close the gap on the daily that we just had so i ended up shorting there i was in profit about 100 200 bucks pulled up a little bit my mistake here was being stubborn i ended up adding more to that play instead of just cutting it out because it reclaimed 125 right away so i ended up taking that fat loss right away and went down 600 bucks i stopped that right there went 600 bucks in the red first trade of the day um after that and, and this i'm gonna botched this up a lot because I don't quite remember the exact P&Ls per trade but I know after that I ended up jumping in some long trades here and this is a level where you know I'm going short and then I'm like going long right away after that and the reason is I mean I'm not just scalping this thing the reason is if I lose 125 I want to take that short from 125 down to that 124.50 123.50 was my other target why because that's the gap fills right I'm looking for that thing to close if I'm taking the long here I want this thing to take out new higher day and potentially I think my resistance was this 128.62 that's what I was looking at and so you know I'm flipping my bias but I still have targets in mind it's not like I'm just straight up take trading this thing out of nowhere and just uh, scalping it so I ended up going long here uh, no trade I mean pretty break even trade I was in good size but pretty big or even trade I think after that I was down 200 bucks on the day so I took off like 400 bucks because I was able to nail some of these trades down here 
Um, after that, I should have added down here, still knowing that we're still flagging over that 125 and now VWAP. I should have added long here and anticipated the breakout out of here to that 128. I didn't get it. I did chase it high a little bit. So this was like a 1500 share size trade. This was a 600. This was 1500. This one right here, I'm buying high of day. So I ended up getting really small share size just to break high of day. So I think I got in on this uh, uh, green candle there. 300 shares, but I think that in itself, I was able to take them up to that my target, that 128.62, and I was fully out. At that point, I think I was literally down $40 on the day. And this is what I don't want you guys to quote me because I think I was down $40 on the day at that point. So I went down from, again, first trade down uh, 600 bucks to now being pretty break even on the day. Um, at this point, I was in also in my short trade, so I think I lost track of this test line. So I missed this move after that 128.62. Uh, after my target hit, I missed the squeeze over it. That's okay because there was also no pullback, no clean entry. Now here, I was looking at 130. 130 next uh, psychological number, and this thing had run up pretty well. If you look at the five minutes, it was nothing but green candles for like one, two, three, four, five, six, right up to that 130. Um, and so I thought maybe 130 is a high. I ended up shorting this thing 130 up here twice. Literally top tick those two candles there. Unfortunately, I did not hold to this move. I got. Uh, sketched out on this trade and I pretty much closed it right there so I think that trade put me up green on the day I might have been up $200 on that trade now so maybe I was green on the day I think but don't quote me on that uh, the next trade was this is the new uh, strategy that I had here not strategy but this is my new idea same thing with the 125.95 hey if this holds I'm going long hey if this breaks I'm going short now with 130 and so 130 was the level that I was looking at and I made a mistake here getting in early twice so we try to go back up to 130 I had a long here like perfectly top ticked 130 which is bad because that's a terrible long fill to go up through hive day uh, reject uh, not rejected so obviously that didn't work ended up flushing down on me there uh, stopped out pretty low. I think once again I was down 400 on the day or something like that. Maybe this one I was down more. Um, and then again I ended up shorting again up here. Or no, actually, sorry, sorry. I ended up going again long at that 130 level again right here. Go Went long, you know, we missed it once. We'll go up to 130 again. Maybe I can get over 130, kind of one minute, two minute pullbacks here and get, boom, 130.58, new high, get a dollar, move to 131, see how high this wants to go. It's at 131 right now, so definitely could have done that earlier. Get a dollar, dollar and a half move there. That would have been good. Uh, that's usually what I'm looking for on Tesla. Anyways, Obviously, that did not push up, so with this thing flushed down, at that point, I closed it again. And here is where, once again, I was down to $600 on the trade, six, $700 on the, on, the, on the ticker on the trade on the day because it's the only thing that I had traded long. So, here is where I flipped my bias one last time, and I said, you know what? 130 is not going to break. I tried it long twice. We're not going to go long. We're not going to break out. Let's just go short, right? Tesla doesn't want to go up. It wants to go down. Let's go down. I'll go down with it. So I ended up flipping short. And this is a big trade of the day. This is the big share size of the day. This is the one that I had that conviction conviction on it. So I shorted on this pop here pretty pretty early. This thing, as soon as it closed, it popped up all the way up. Halfway through that candle, I went boom, boom, added 1,000 shares short right away. Popped up a little bit more. I think I added 1,000 there and 1,000 halfway. I mean, a 500 there, 500 back. Uh, somewhere in between that so now I was in with 2,000 shares short on Tesla do the math 2,000 shares times 129 130 that's a big chunk of change that's a big position that's the biggest I've taken all year and on Tesla ever so 2,000 shares short there kind of uh, break even around here I had a great fill that is the only thing I felt so comfortable in this trade because I top tick this first entry, I top tick the second entry there, and only 500 shares were down here. So even here, I was like pretty break even, up 100, 200 dollars on the trade itself just for me hanging around right here. Yeah, if this squeezed over 130 and shot up, I would have been fried. I would have probably had to stop for the day. You know, max loss over a thousand, 1500 is probably what I'm telling myself. I got to stop. 
But, you know, it ended up dumping a little bit, and my P&L went from negative $800, $900 there, because, you know, some of it, as I was going up here, is still in the red, you know, from the initial trade. So I was down max, like, $800, $900, and this thing went from being down $800, $900 all the way to break even, up 200, up 300, 400, 500, 600, 900. At the very bottom of the scandal, I was up a thousand dollars, and I think I saw like 42 dollars, a thousand fifty, let's just say, just over a thousand dollars right here. And I was looking for this thing to go down to that 128.62. And sometimes when this thing dumps, it will dump pretty hard. And and I thought maybe if I get some of it out there, I can have some runners down to view up, catch another dollar a share. And that is going to put me up, you know, 1.5K on the day. And that is going to be incredible. Anyways, I was up a 1,000. I cover a lot. But I still had, I think I had 1,200 shares or 800 shares short still. And this thing just sticks this nice candle all the way back up here. And at this point, I go, frick. Um, I was looking at this pivot here. I wanted to close under that and keep going lower. Two, I was looking at this pivot here. Close under that, keep going lower. But this thing went right back up and closed above all of those. And at that point, I panicked. I fully got out of that trade. I did go from negative 800 to positive 500 on the day. I was up like 490 after that trade, but I was up 1,000. So I let go of $500 uh, dollars back right there. Uh, but, you know, finally decently on the green. I think I was down 500, 600 twice on the day and then unrealized 900. But finally I'm up sitting with $500 on the day green. Um, and then I don't remember where my last scalp was. It might have been right here right away afterwards. Yep, so I ended up coming back in here and shorted another 600 shares. Just looking for that VWAP. You know, this thing could not hold. Still was heavy. As soon as this thing dumped, I ended up adding more right there and then caught that dump down to VWAP. Covered down at VWAP pretty well. And then I think I got squeezed on the remaining. Or I think I covered right before that squeeze somewhere right here. I was fully out. So that is what ended up taking me from 500 bucks on the day to 740. And then... I ended up taking the uh, contract where I lost $14, uh, but either way, uh, big P&L swing, Tesla's still grinding, Tesla's still hitting highs, um, I knew it would do this today, so I'm honestly kind of upset that I, I'm missing this right now, uh, pretty important level is that 128.62 that I had, even if I would have came back later in the day, as soon as it started holding that 128 862 again uh this thing ended up rallying to 131 so missed another trade there but usually i don't trade this late and the moves aren't as clean so it's, you have to take the trade perfect and you have to hold that trade longer because in the open if you take that trade in two minutes it's gonna either move in your favor or move against you if you take a trade here still 30 minutes after market open less than an hour after market open if you take that trade it either goes against you and you stop out or it goes in your favor and you get a nice push afterwards if i would have taken the trade here yeah i got that push but if i take the trade here there there or there you know that's at least a 15 20 minute period of consolidation over that daily pivot where i finally said you know what i am going to hold that level let's get the rally on and then push higher but you know I, I i don't like trading it that late into the market open but anyway 740 day dollars on the 730 not this one 730 total and then my cvna place so let me go ahead and pull up cvna here so you guys can see i did end up locating a lot of shares today for three tickers and i only ended up trading two which one of them was a straight break even trade which is actually upsetting because that's the one i paid the most fees on to locate but cvna i ended up shorting this one on this pop back up here up to 8 8 10 ended up shorting it right there i think i had a very nice extra fill here to add a little bit more share size on that spike up and then i covered half of my position down here so i shorted up there added and then i covered half of it up here and i made a mistake again of putting my stop too tight i think i saw this consolidation range right here so i put my stop right over it and i was still holding like 50 percent of my share size so i got stopped out up here for the half of the trade which you know is still in profit because the majority was up at eight so to down to 780 that's still 20 cents per share but uh, if I would have just held it a tiny bit longer, maybe put it over this pivot there, I would have gone again from 7.8 back down to 7.4, an extra 60 cents uh, per share instead of only 20 cents per share. So that's upsetting. But the good news is that I take I did take more share size on this play. Uh, I scaled up a little bit on the share size on my shorting account today. Uh, so the win there was still pretty nice, even though I ended up uh, botching this trade up and getting out a tiny bit too early. So here is that actual graph for you guys, so you guys can see exactly where I, 
I placed a trade where I got in, where I got out. So I ended up shorting, shorting, shorting. Not the best entries. You see, I'm getting kind of low, but still had the the direction. This thing went parabolic, made a lower high. I'm all over that. So short, short, short added, and then covered, covered, covered. These were nice covers. This is the one that took out half of my share size got stopped out on and then right after that ended up completely reversing right back down so I missed all of this with the half of my position but still a good size P&L and then the other trade that I took was uh, CYAD I ended up uh, adding twice oh frick sorry CYAD and then I stopped out literally break even on this trade so I ended up adding here I missed kind of that spike there and then uh, this thing ended up pulling back down a tiny bit more but this was literally I lost two bucks I mean break even trade perfect um, missed this spike here and then now it's kind of fading but came right back up so this might be interesting for later in the day but I'm not I'm not gonna play it anymore I'm probably gonna walk away from my computer good green day on both accounts so I'm happy with it um, that's going to be it for this recap, guys. If you guys are new, leave a thumbs up. If you guys learned something, liked my recap. Um, if you guys want to watch me trade live, come back tomorrow, 15 minutes before market opens, completely free. Um, other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day, and I will see you guys tomorrow in the live trading session. You guys take care and enjoy your day.